Okay, this is uh, section 6.4. This is circle and ring permutations. And there's a formula for a circle rim permutation and a ring permutation. A ring being uh, something you can flip over and back. That's why it has a little bit of a different uh, formula than a purple, uh, than, a purple, than a permutation that's a circle. Now, one thing I didn't, didn't mention in my last tutorial is about permutations and uh, combinate, and as well when we get into combinations. There is a also, other than a factorial button, there's also a, a permutation button right on mo some calculators as well, which significantly w might help you in the last section or, or the sec this section or the next section as well. So if you have that on your calculator, go ahead and use it as well. So we're going to look right now at per circle permutations. So circle permutations have a formula here and there, basically in section 6.4 on page 202. And they just say, you just subtract one from the total in the circle, and if it's a ring, you just have to divide it by two because you can flip a ring over and have the same permutation. So how many ways can nine players form a circle, or a group in a circle? Well, that's just using a, a circle permutation of nine minus one factorial. So that's eight factorial. Eight times seven times six and so forth. So I'll plug that in, 40,320. Easy to do those. Okay, same thing with a bracelet one. That one. If you have a bracelet that's a ring and they have 12 charms on it, how many ways can you arrange it? That's 12 minus 1 factorial over 2. So that would be 11 factorial divided by 2. So you plug that into the calculator. And you get 1995840, or if you like, 19,958,400. So let's go over to some more of the more challenging ones, the restriction type examples, which limit your cases. Okay, so we're gonna have to do some drawings when you get into these circuit permutations with restrictions to help you understand what's going on. They give you some really good examples in page 202, 203, uh, 201 of your text. So I'm gonna do some similar type examples that are not the same, but similar to help you out if you're still getting stuck. So in, at a table of four boys, four girls, and they're sitting there for lunch, find the given number of arrangements. Okay, what if the boys and girls alternate? So what you do is you draw your circular table here, put your seats around it. And you just choose one person to start the ring or start the circle with. So I'm gonna choose a girl here. So that's one, she has one girl there. She's going to be the first choice. So if there has to be a boy here, how many boys are there possible? Well, there's five boys left. Girl has to be here, so there's how many girls left? Four. How many boys left? Four. How many girls left? Three. How many boys left? Three. Oh, sorry. I already did. Girl, girl, boy, girl, Boy, girl, boy. I think I made a mistake. I started with five instead of four, right? Pardon my, let me redraw that. I'm, I don't know why I'm going with five when there's only four boys and four girls at this table. So ignore my fives and let's do it the right way. Must have been a long day here. Okay, so if I'm actually going with one girl there, how many boys are there? Four, not five. Right, because I said there's four boys. Then there would be three girls left, three boys, two girls, two boys, one girl, and then one boy. That makes more sense there. Then you simply multiply them together. Four times three times three times two times two times one times one times one. So you have 12 times, let's just do it here, 12 times three times two times two you get 144 with all the ones in there as well. Okay, pardon my starting with five there for a second. I, I apologize, but let's do the next one here and try to remember there's four of each. Okay, we have the women sitting together. Hmm, this is a little bit different. So you have to draw this one out and be very careful here. Let's number the seats, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight. And let's say that we have a girl sitting, a woman sitting at the top. So what are the possible four seat blocks? She can sit one, two, three, and four. Okay, if she's sitting in one. There can also be eight, one, two, and three. There can also be seven, eight, one, and two. There can also be six, seven, and eight, and one at the end. So those are the four, four possible ways that she can sit, that the women can sit in a box. So there's four ways. So if there's four possible ways that they're sitting in that block already, what's, what's left for us to decide is how the men can sit okay, in, in the remaining seats. So no matter, uh, no matter how many men there are, or sorry, no matter how many seats are left or what block they're sitting in, there's still four seats for the men to sit in at the end of the, at the end of the day. So they can arra be arranged in four times three times two ways or four factorial ways. So the men are arranged in four factorial ways in, in those four remaining seats. Likewise, how many ways can we arrange the three other ladies that sit with the girl? Okay, the, that girl is always in seat number one, but there's still three other ladies that can be arranged with her sitting in that block of four women. So th that block of four women can be arranged with the first girl sitting there. There's still three, two, and one way that, she, that the other three women can be arranged with her sitting there in that block of four. So likewise, that's three factorial. So there's our answer if we work that out. There's four blocks. The women are arranged in three factorial ways in that block, and the men are arranged in their four remaining seats in four factorial way. So if we work out that out, four factorial times three factorial times four, we have 576 ways. But those restrictions apply. Now, I think I have one more here with restrictions on it. The three of the girls are best friends and they want to sit together. Okay, so we have to think in terms of now blocks of three. So we do the same, it's similar to what we just did. Okay, so they, that's seat one, two, three, and so forth, all the way around. So if she stays in one, that could be one, two, or three, the three best friends, or it could be eight, one, and two, or it could be seven, eight, one. So there's three ways that they can sit in blocks of three. Now, how can we arrange them? Well, if that first lady is sitting there, She's always in seat one. The other two ladies can be arranged in how many different ways in that block? Two factorial ways or two different ways. Right? Because you can have one sitting there. It can be either two or three beside her. Two factorial is just two times one. And then what's left over? There's still five people to sit in the five remaining seats. So there's still five people to sit down in five factorial different ways. So if we work that one out, 5 factorial times 2 factorial times 3, we get 720 different ways. And that's an example of some circular and ring permutations. Our next section here, we're going to look at combinations from a set. And that's 6.5. So we'll get that into there in our next tutorial.